Uh, hey guys, this is Insight here with my buddy, with my buddy Mags right here, Nick, Nick Mags. Sorry, I, Nick, I exposed you. All right. Well, this is this is gonna be teaching you guys how to export in uh, 59 frames per second from Movie Maker, which I had a lot of troubles with because I started to edit. If you haven't seen, um, so yeah, get your get your clip into Movie Maker. Uh, like like I'm doing right here. All right, so it's it's pretty. It's it's a little slow. I mean, if you have After Effects or uh, um, if you have After Effects or Sony Vegas, I would use that first. But for most people, they don't. So I would just use. I mean, it comes preset on on most most Windows computers. All right. Well, this is gonna take forever, so I will resume the video when this uh, is. When this is full, when this is rendered and I can cut it and stuff, so yeah. Hey guys, okay, I'm back and uh, the clip is done rendering as you can see. So, I mean, you got your your clip here, and I this is where I hit this nice. I hit a nice. I think it's right here. A four, it was a 1440 era west shot. So I'm gonna just go. I mean, you guys already know, you should know how to cut clips, so split it, that's all you want, delete the rest of it, this is your clip, alright, and then cut it, oh dang it, and then cut it right like there, delete that, and then you just have your clip, obviously, and the quality is not this bad. It, it, it will increase when you export it. So then what you're going to do is you're going to, so I already have this, but you're going to, you're going to go to this over here, this up here. And normally you just go save movie for high definition display, which is what most, pe most people do. Which is not what you should do because it only exports to 29. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here to custom settings, create custom setting, name it anything you want. Uh, and then 720 by 1280, it'll be 720p frame rate, and you want to set this to 59.94 feet uh, frames per second, which um, most editors will not edit if they don't have that because it's extremely ugly. Um, and then audio format, just leave it like that; it'll it'll be fine, and it doesn't really matter what the sound is. Um, then save, and you save in this. So you save in the folder that it comes pre pre in already, and I already did it. So you'll just click save, but I'm gonna cancel here, and you'll click yes there too. You want to save this, and then you'll go save movie, and your export whatever you saved it is, and then number nine or ten or whatever here. What what is what is this? Um, I think. What did I name this one as? Hmm, I cannot find it. I don't know where it is. But I'll save it as 10. So even though it's a WMV, so 10. And then it'll save like this. Saving, saving, saving. Okay, uh, I'm going to resume this when, when it's done, which should be very quick. Cool. All right, guys, I'm back again, and uh, this is the this is the clip after I've exported it. It's and they're fairly small because normally your clips are only. I mean, here it is. It's fine quality. Everyone says W or Windows Movie Maker is bad, but I mean it exports it just fine, just as well as uh, probably not just as well, but good enough quality that you're gonna you're not gonna notice the difference really. So I'm gonna show you guys here this the the, the clip that the clip is in. So it need this you just do straight whatever, unmatted, uh, and then right there it's in. Uh, here, I'll create a new com. Yo yo yo. All right, there we go. There's my com and. 
Put this in here, 59.94. Just save it in that, guys. It's easiest. So 59 it plays it normally. Just, just, just showing you. So it'll, it'll save it normally. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.